Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 3. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at doing a firmware update on our Elite box so we're able to use our NSP software. If you have an older Haltech box that has been running on the ESP, this is going to be a required step before we can move forward to do any actual tuning or working with our Elite system. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at how to do a firmware update on our Haltech Elite Box. Now this is gonna be required if you wanna communicate with your NSP software and you were previously using the ESP software. So in my situation, I developed the whole training course with the ESP software and the Haltech Elites that's available. You can watch all of that, everything's been fully released. And now I'm in a situation where I wanna go and do this training course and start to work with the NSP software. I'm not able to communicate with my NSP software with my Elite Box because my firmware build is out of date. And you know, what is a firmware? You may not know what that means. Firmware is what communicates between the software, the NSP software, and the actual hardware bits on the ECU board itself. So if we're trying to send how to control that data through software to the ECU, if the firmware has a mismatch, it won't work. So in order to actually activate and start to allow the NSP software to do its job in terms of programming or data logging capability, we need to have the correct firmware set so we can communicate with the ECU's hardware. So what we're gonna do now is learn how we can install the firmware if you have a leap box that's an older build that's out of date in terms of the firmware so that we can get compatible with the NSP. So in my situation here, I'm gonna go into my NSP software and show you what it's gonna look like if you get this pop-up window saying that you need to do the firmware update, well then you're gonna to have to do it. You have no choice. Um, and then what steps we need to take in order to actually initiate that firmware update and complete it so we can communicate with our NSP. So let's go and take a look at that right now. I'm gonna jump into my NSP software icon down here in my taskbar. It's a really quick link. It's gonna immediately open up the software. Now, I have my Haltech Elite 2500 plugged into my laptop, plugged into my vehicle. I have the ignition key powered on, but the engine isn't running. So what it's doing is prompting me up with this window. Firmware upgrade must be initiated from within latest ESP software. So we've downloaded in the very first tutorial, both the NSP and the ESP software. The ESP software, again, is the older software build for our elite boxes. The NSP is this newer software build that we wanna work with and build our training course off with. So in my situation, I have no choice. I have to do this firmware update. If you don't see this window pop up, if you plug into your elite, you power everything on, you don't have this window telling you need to do the firmware update, well then don't worry about it. You can start to work with your NSP software right out of the box and you don't need to even continue watching the tutorial. However, if you're in this situation where this window's popping up, you need to go and go through a couple extra steps here in order to communicate with the NSP software and your lead. Let's take a look at that process. I'm gonna click okay here since I have that warning message. It's telling me I need to go and jump into the ESP and do a firmware update. What I'm gonna do here is close out my NSP software. I've had issues with both the NSP and ESP software being open at the same time. Sometimes it can start to confuse the elite and if it's trying to communicate, um, doesn't know quite what to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out the NSP software. The next step here is I'm gonna move into my lower task bar here and open up my ESP software. Now the ESP software is something that we've already installed in that very first training tutorial talking about doing the software installation. If you skip the step of installing ESP and now you need to install it, you're gonna to have to go back in to the Haltex website in the download section and download the ESP software. So let me go ahead and open up the ESP software assuming that you have that installed onto your laptop already. I'm gonna go down here into my quick link on my taskbar and open up the ESP software. Now the ESP software is very slow to open and to load compared to the NSP software. So that's one definite welcome change moving from ESP to NSP as we'll find it's much quicker communication speeds. So what we're gonna find right now is that we have our ESP software open. And at the top here, we can see ESP online. I do have the Wi-Fi connection enabled here on my laptop and I am on the internet. So it's able to communicate with this ESP online option. I am signed into my ESP online account Evans Performance Academy up here. If you don't have an account, you're likely gonna to have to go and create one in order to start to get online here. Um, you'll click on ESP online. It'll take you through the process of creating an account and getting online with that. So what I can do here is go into ESP online and it's gonna take a second here. It's gonna recognize that I have an Elite 2500 box. There we go, it pops up on the screen here. It's gonna tell me 
right here in the software update. If there's any new updates in the software that we need to download with the ESP, we've done that already. We can find here, I'm on build version 2.59.3, no new software updates are found. That's gonna tell me here if I go back to product version support, we can see here the Holtec Elite 2500, and this is gonna be Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.